is going to be it's high really and I can black. Do you think you're going to be black like that? It's 9 o'clock around here and actually we forgot to do the introduction in this video. <laughs> so we have to do it right now. <laughs> yes. But yeah, we spent the whole day here in this magical place. We really enjoyed it and we had so much fun. Yes, and it's a place that you must... <laughs> okay. Oops. What is that? <laughs> Shall we continue? Shall we stop? <laughs> it's a place that you must come and visit if you're around in Bavaria. Are you curious to know more about this place? Follow us, guys. But first, don't forget to smash the like Subscribe to help us make grow this channel and activate the bell. Come with us. This palace was summer residence for the rulers of Bavaria. It was commissioned by Ferdinand Maria and Henrietta Adelaide. Right now in the soft apartment, this suite of rooms was the apartment of Electress Henriette Adelaide. She and her husband were the founders of this palace. In 1664, after the birth of the son Maximilian Manuel II, the palace was gradually expanded and transformed over the years. The palace and this park is now one of the most famous sites in Munich.
Karl Arbrecht dedicated this little hunting lodge, Amalienburg, 1734-1739, to his wife. This lodge is designed from François Covillier and the decoration is from Rococo age. What's up? I think I'm just going to be here. Did you kill a bee? No, she's walking. Where is it? Looks like you're hungry. <laughs> mm. I am always prepared. Some nap. Some nuts. <laughs> Some nuts around. <laughs> Some nuts. Some nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in the bag. So that was it for Nymphenburg Palace tour. If you really enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think about this place. Smash the like and don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell as well. See you, See you very, very soon. soon.